Welcome to my channel Dr. Munshi Nasser Skilltone. How are you my dear learners? In this video we are going to talk about a fantastic software called Comprehensive Meta Analysis Software and this software will help you to do your meta analysis very easily. So without wasting any time let's get started. Let's begin. In my previous video, I have discussed about how to do meta-analysis with example. I also discussed about how to use chat GPT, SciSpace and JEP software for your meta-analysis. This video, I'm going to talk about how and how and where we can get the meta comprehensive meta-analysis software which is available online and I already give you the Google Drive link in this video description box for you guys to download this software very easily. This software is a very interesting way to do meta-analysis. Before we start to discuss about the software, we need to know why we are doing the meta-analysis. Meta-analysis is something that it is a part of a systematic literature review and it has also inclusion and exclusion criteria. This software will help you to do the meta-analysis very easily. But before applying the software we need to collect the data and in order to collect the data as i told in my previous video that you have to select a title and then find a research question or problem in order to do a meta analysis it is very important for you to find out a research problem and accordingly you collect your literatures once you collect your literatures you will find out that what type of data you need to investigate to uh, to identify and answer your research question now in my opinion you have to select those studies which has relevant to your research question this is very important sometimes we collect the literature review which doesn't have required data for meta-analysis and therefore it is very important for you guys to collect the important literature review according to the research question for instance if you are looking for to investigate the studies of students and the impact of their education system on their CGPA. So CGPA is your dependent variable and effect of the education system is one of your explanatory variable. Now if you have this kind of a research question, in my opinion what you have to do, find out the CGPA of different studies and education effect of those CGP of the students relevant to those studies and once you collect the studies you can go and select the data now the question is what type of data you are going to collect for example in meta analysis we use we need to collect sample size we need to collect the standard deviation we need to collect the mean or in other words we can say the descriptive statistical information sometimes in meta analysis we use meta regression analysis sometimes we use publication bias and all those other types but usually i'm going to give you a simple type so that you can understand it very quickly now once you collect the data and once you know the mean standard deviation and sample size of your collected literatures you will do this uh, a excel file to incorporate all the data inside the excel file collecting from the literatures our main objective is to find out the effect size and in order to find out the effect size we use random effect or fixed effect model to find out the effect size and by by saying effect size what do you mean by saying effect size for instance different studies have a different mean right but if I want to standardize those means, then I need a Z value in order to standardize the mean of the studies. And therefore that Z value is our effect size or Z standard deviation mean or a standardized mean is our effect size of those variables or those studies that we have selected. Now in order to calculate the Z studies, we can use this comprehensive meta-analysis software. In the first stage, once you download the software, which is very easy, the instruction is given in the video description box. And all you have to do, follow the instructions and download the software. Once you download the software, the software will guide you and it has a fantastic way. It will give you a stepwise tutorial in every step to make sure you are in the right path. For instance, if you would like to make few columns, you go and select the column from the software and gradually there are different type of columns. For example, study names is a one of the column, 
the mean is one of the column the number of sample is one of the column and different sample and different standard deviation different mean and different studies you will put it in the comprehensive meta-analysis software and this you do not have to do anything the tutorial will guide you stepwise how you are going to do that this is one way of doing that okay now in other way you can create an excel file and import that excel file into the comprehensive meta-analysis software and in order to do that first you copy the information or data that is already in your excel file and paste it in the comprehensive meta-analysis software and this is how you will do it first you need to create some columns and once you create the columns the standard deviation mean and sample size and the study study names then you press the run analysis once you press the run analysis it will show you what type of analysis you would like to do for example in my case i am doing a simple standardized mean analysis i want to find out a standardized mean which means z score as the effect size of my meta analysis and therefore i run the analysis and then it will give me the value of those given z scores of corresponding meta studies now there are two way we can do that one is called the fixed effect the other one is called the random effect usually researchers say random effect is a more preferable way of analyzing the meta because random effect will consider the variation of your sample as well as within the study there are some variations so it will capture both the variations on the other hand fixed effect it will only consider the similar type of samples which doesn't have a lot of variations in the real life we do not find any other studies which doesn't have any variation usually we find variations in different studies therefore we are using the random effect model and therefore you will see once you select the random effect or fixed effect in this case we are selecting random effect or both the models the comprehensive meta-analysis software will give you a detailed information just give it a click okay next you will see if you want to make a forest plot or if you are if you want to put a, make a funnel plot all you have to do go to the software in the view section you will see that how to do the forest plot and how to do the funnel plot once you do the forest plot and the funnel plot you will take those information paste it in your word file and then you explain it and in order to explain it you will refer to my previous video where i detail explain about how to explain and analyze the forest plot funnel plot and the meta scores i refer you to that video in order to understand this is clearly but for this video it is just to see whether our z score is huge difference between our sample means or it has a close to the sample means of that we have collected from the literatures if it is very close to the mean of collected information from the different studies we can say that the variation or the effect size is very minimum in the collected studies and then these studies are a good way to analyze the different explanatory variables and say the different type of size and different type of variation in the model so therefore this software will give you a detailed information about how to start how to analyze those things and how to put your data and how to extract your data from the analysis and moreover you if you are interested to know more about meta-analysis this software has different type of tutorials PDF files for detailed information about meta-analysis and its kinds, its types, its purpose and everything. I strongly recommend you to download this software, use it in your computer and do your meta-analysis using comprehensive meta-analysis software. This is a fantastic tool and I believe this tool will be useful for your meta-analysis purpose. For this video, this is, this is so far we have discussed. In the next tutorial, I will discuss about meta-analysis using Zamobi, a free statistical software, how to do that software, how to analyze the data, how to explain those data in my next tutorial. Until then, bye-bye.